10 grandparents you won't believe exist. Number 1. Andreas Kalling This man is one of the grandparents you won't believe exists. Andreas Kalling was born and raised in Sweden. When he was just 12 years old, he began weight training to improve his strength for his two passions, wrestling and judo. Before moving to Southern California, he won the Swedish Junior National Judo and Freestyle Wrestling Championship. After coming to the U.S., he placed second at the IFBB Mr. World Contest and was a finalist in the AAU Mr. California and the AAU Mr. America the same year. Today, he has a body that most men half his age only dream of having, and he has been featured in Flex Magazine, Muscle and Fitness, and several other fitness magazines. Number 2. Sergei Nibro Most people expect grandfathers to play dominoes with their friends and rock their grandchildren on their knee. This is not the case with Sergei Nibro. He is a legendary bodybuilder with the nickname Black Panther. He's best known for his participation in the film Pumping Iron, which describes the events surrounding the Mr. Olympia tournament in 1975, where Arnold Schwarzenegger was one of the winners. He also wrote a book about his rise to the top. Today, he trains other bodybuilders much younger than himself. Number 3. Robbie Robinson Robbie Robinson was born in 1946 and is an American professional bodybuilder. In college, he competed in football and track and field. While doing these sports, he found his love of bodybuilding and he entered his first competition. In 1975, he went professional and won the IFBB Mr. America, Mr. World, and Mr. Universe titles. He continued to win titles for years. He was also part of several bodybuilding documentaries. Today, at the age of 56, he is a personal trainer, bodybuilding coach, and is a huge activist against steroid use. Number 4. Chet Yorton Chet Yorton may be a grandfather, however, he is also known as the father of natural bodybuilding. When Chet was in high school, he had a very serious car accident, where he cut his left eye through the eyeball, cut his forearm from his wrist to his elbow, dislocated both of his hips, and shattered the bones in his thighs. The leg injuries were so bad that they almost had to be amputated. Eventually, he had a steel plate placed around his right thigh bone and a steel rod in his left leg. While recovering in a wheelchair, he found a set of dumbbells and picked them up. As he trained, he was able to compete in bodybuilding contests and won several titles. Today, he still has an amazing body and speaks to kids about the dangers of steroids. Number 5. Jeffrey Life Dr. Jeffrey Life is an age management doctor in Las Vegas and he's 74 years old. What makes him special is that he has the body of a man half his age. At his age, he has muscle definition that most men only dream of having. He didn't always look this way. In his 50s, he was a paunchy, middle-aged man. After looking at a muscle magazine, he decided to get in shape. In 1987, he entered his first competition and won. Today, he works with patients who are suffering from andropause, which is a form of male menopause. He is proof that even at 74 years old, you can look great. Number 6. Bill Grant Bill Grant is known as one of the most legendary bodybuilders of all time. He has won the titles of Mr. America and Mr. World. Today, at 58 years old, he is still involved in the sport on a variety of levels. He is the president and owner of the Bill Grant Nutrition Company, and is a spokesperson and MC at a variety of bodybuilding shows, and he's still an active participant. Even though he's getting older, he hasn't let that slow him down. Number 7. Rusty Jeffers Rusty Jeffers started his bodybuilding career at the age of 12. By the time he was 14, he started entering competitions, and when he was 17, he won his first title. He continued entering competitions and winning, and he even released a DVD called Pose Like a Pro in 2006, which taught athletes how to pose. On April 11, 2015, he teamed up with the World Physique and Athletics Association, WPAA, and held a bodybuilding show in his name called the 2015 Rusty Jeffers Southwest Championships. Number 8. Svetsar Nikachovic Svetsar Nikachovic, also known as Kita, is a 59-year-old gym owner in Podgorica, which is the capital of Montenegro. He's also known as the man with the biggest arms in Europe, measuring at 23.6 inches. 
He played soccer up until he was 26 years old when he started lifting weights. At the time, bodybuilding and powerlifting were not very well known in Puerto Rico. Over time, he made it popular, and today he is a grandfather who trains some of the strongest men around. Number 9. Spencer Churchill Spencer Churchill is 74 years old, and he looks better than most men half his age. Before he achieved fame as a professional wrestler, he earned a great deal of popularity bodybuilding in the late 40s. He continued with his bodybuilding career for years and earned the nickname Mr. Muscle Unlimited. He is not the typical grandfather, as he spends his time lifting weights and helping those who want to achieve the same greatness that he did. Number 10. Valentin de Cool. When Valentin de Cool was born in 1948, he was premature. He weighed just 2.2 pounds when he was born. When he was in kindergarten, his parents were shot by thieves. He lived with his grandparents for a few years until they passed away. After that, he was sent to an orphanage. While at the orphanage, he found his love for the circus. Soon he began lifting weights, where he earned the title of the strongest man in the world and traveled with the circus. During his time in the circus, he set a few records. Squats, 928 pounds. Bench, 573 pounds. Deadlift, 1,014 pounds. He came back from a serious injury in 1962, and it took six years for him to recover. When he did, he was back to lifting weights, performing in shows, and he's also one of Russia's leading authorities on treating spinal injuries. Subscribe for more!